Morning everyone, June Fulton here, aka Nana June. Um, I've been asked lots of questions about how I'm doing this. Aren't they lovely? Absolutely wonderful, aren't they? So simple, so easy. So I'm going to let you know how I do it. I'm going to be using Nature's Beauty. Now this stamp set is available from the 4th of September this year. And from every sale, £2.50, GB pounds that is, will go to mental health organisations. That's absolutely fantastic cause, I think. Anyway, here we go. So you will need something which I'm not, unfortunately stamping up, do not sell. Um, some paper which I got from a famous selling site. It's water-based inkjet water transfer paper. Can you remember when you was a kid, you used to get those transfers, what you soaked in water to stick on your arms? You still can get them, I think. Similar stuff to that. And this is how it works anyway. So, as I said, you've got to choose your stamp. I'm using a stamp of that to see. I've already stamped this. This is just to show you. Stamp. Now, you always stamp on the shiny side. There's two sides to this paper, the shiny side and the dull side, just like when you did the ones when you were a kid. You can only use a permanent solvent ink, such as stays on. This you can get from the Stampin' Up! catalogue. So you ink it up, you ink that, you stamp. So you get left with an image, which you can fussy cut round as tightly as you can. That makes life a lot easier when you come to transferring it. Now, you can do this on glass, you can do it on ceramic, pots, plates, whatever you like. But you have to soak this once you're fussy cut around it. Following the manufacturer's instructions, and they do vary slightly. Mine actually said soak for 20 seconds. 10 to 12 seconds I found was enough for me. It got too wet. So, soak this in, immerse it in water. Judge by the time, you know, what you think is correct. Take it out. Place it on your ceramic. I used an old clean bit of t-shirt and I held it down. Just like when you were doing it on your arm until it transferred the image. A few seconds, gently slid that down and it left me with these. Now that one's pretty perfect, as you can see. This one has got a couple of mistakes on it. If you look closely, you will see the nose and the eyes are slightly darker there. And that is because I messed it up when I was removing the paper. So what I did was I got a permanent marker, any permanent marker will do, and just dab them, that nose and eyes on there again. I did the same with the rabbit. That one's not very good. As you can see on the one that was okay, completely different. So there we go. That's how you correct your mistakes. Now, if you drag the top paper off, the backing paper, you know, the non-clear paper off, before it's finished, you can get a drag twisted image. You can't really correct that. So my advice is to get your cloth, a wet cloth, and wipe it off as quickly as possible so that you've got a nice clean bit of ceramic to try again. Um, right, we come to the next thing. You can actually colour this image, as I have done. I prefer the black and white version. It makes life a lot easier and it's nice and clean. Looks good. Um, when I first started doing this, I did try colouring it. And again, you have to use permanent markers to colour. You can't, um, unfortunately, use any of the Stampin' Up! coloured ones. So, you know, anything to give you a bit of colour, you can do that. It does, if you've got a large area to colour, leave a sort of scratchy effect. Now, this is one of my very first attempts, which I will show you for all the faults. It's, that was because I didn't dry the paint, the, the colouring in properly before I put it on. And these little blisters here, I have now found out, are because I didn't bake this long enough. And if you see, you can see the edge. This is where you want to fussy cut a bit closer. There, you can actually see if you don't bake it long enough and cut close enough. All the images will be reversed once you put them on that so as when it comes to putting lettering on you can write on it with a permanent marker or if you have an alphabet set you can use the capital letters which are asymmetric such as a capital a a capital i a capital no not an l you can do an l yes um you can do an o 
can't do an M, you can't do a W, because when they're put on, they're reversed. So you have to think about that. So you can actually do it, but you can put high on with an exclamation mark, because that will work if you put it on, so it's stamped in reverse. So when you put it on your ceramic or glass, it's stamped correctly. Um, right, to make this permanently stay on there, my manufacturer's instructions told me to bake mine at 110 degrees for 10 to 15 minutes. I did that and that was what happened. So I decided to leave mine, preheat the oven a lot better, uh, leave it in for a bit longer. I left it in for 20 minutes to get this. Now that is a lot better finish, don't you think? Well, I do, so I'm quite impressed with that. Colouring, my very first attempt, don't laugh too much, was appalling. As you can see, it's very scratchy. It's not good at shading, but it does get your colour on. Now that's one which I dragged. If I'd have wiped that off at the time, I could have redone that. But it's a learning curve and I'm showing you, so hopefully you don't make the same mistakes as me. Again, look, blisters are there. That hasn't been dabbed down enough and it's not been baked for long enough. It would have been a beautiful mug if I'd have done it properly, but there you go. So yes, I hope you enjoy that and I would love to see your creations, what you create. Um, thank you very much and have fun. Happy crafting. Bye.